talk a little bit about um, left hand ornamentation. And it's kind of a personal thing. Everybody has their, their own tricks and names for things, but it's a great way just to make a tune your own. That way you can change it up every time through and it stays fresh for you and for the listener. So the, a really simple thing to try is just a, a single trill. So we're not talking about a trill like that, but just where you do it once. Um, it's almost just a grace note. So you're going to start with the note that's in the melody of the tune. So say there's an E. Um, I'm going to play E and then the note above, F sharp, let's say, and then back to the E, all in one bow. And you can um, just um, vary the speed that you do that. So it can sound a couple of different ways. It could sound like this. Really quick, or you could do a little bit slower. So you have some variety with that. I also like to do um, a lot of slides, and I slide up to notes and I slide off of notes, depending which way the melody is heading. If I'm going up in the in the scale, I might slide up. Coming down, I'd slide down. And it's usually about a semitone or a half tone. Um, so if my note was A, I might start on the A flat, for example. Um, a roll is something that's really common as well, and it, it starts the same as the trill. You're going to go up from your melody note, back to the melody note, and then below it. So I'll use the example of E once again. So I'm going to go and then below it. So the notes are going to be E, F sharp, E, D, E. All in one bow. So you need a little more space in your melody to fit that one in. So when you're playing your trills and your rolls, you want to make sure you have a really clean beginning. They have to sound like you mean to do it. And if you don't start the note crisply, um, it can sound like you're playing sloppy or that you made a mistake. So it's really a, a great tool just to practice these things in your scales. That way you get good at them on every finger and you can throw them in and they sound clean. So I can practice. <laughs> And the same thing with your slides. You can slide up and then. Um, it's also really easy to sometimes run up or down from a note. And it sounds like it's difficult, um, but it's really not. Uh, and it adds a lot. So if my note is, um, say, a third finger, instead of playing directly there, I'll run up all the notes, open one, two, three, to get there. And same thing, if my note was an open string, I could run down. Now let's talk about the hammer-on and the pull-off. Again, there's lots of names for these things. Um, the hammer-on is when you anticipate a note. So say my note is first finger on the, on the E string. That I'm, instead of going directly to it, I'm going to anticipate it by playing E, F sharp instead. So that's real quick. Like that in one bow. And the opposite, when you're going down in the melody, instead of using a hammer-on, you would use a pull-off, but it's the same thing. Just depends which way you're going, up the scale or down the scale. So it would be. So I'm going to play a little um, example of how some of these things can be used. So this is a tune called Dusty Miller. 